Proverbs 4 and verse 7. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom with all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you to honor when you embrace her. She will give to your head an ornament of grace and a crown of glory will she deliver to you. So much knowledge in this world that you have to decide what knowledge you will take. Because your future is decided by who you have chosen to believe. There are many voices that will talk into your ears, but you choose which ones you will believe. They are preachers who will teach you about how God will bless you when you sow seeds. Then there are other voices that will tell you the preacher only wants your money. That's why he's telling you that. Your future is decided by who you choose to believe. You don't have to believe a word I'm saying today, but your future will depend on it. Pastor, I already believe this. I don't want to believe what you're saying. Well, then you'll never have what I have. If you make my decisions, you'll have my testimony. God does not decide the quality of your life. Never forget that. God does not decide the quality of your life. Your decisions decide the quality of your life. Your decisions decide everything. Your decisions decide your health, your decisions decide your wealth, your decisions decide your stress, your decisions decide your happiness, your decisions are deciding everything. Pastor, but it's my wife that's making me unhappy. Well, you decided to marry her. Yes. Your decisions are deciding the quality of your life. Pastor, my brother stole my money. That's why I have no money. Well, you decided to trust your brother with your money. Your decisions have decided the quality of your life. There are three basic philosophies in the earth today. The first one is that God decides everything. If God decided everything, how can we prosecute a rapist? Come again. If God decided everything, why do we prosecute someone who raped a lady? Because what we're saying is God decided that. Most of the things happening on the earth is not what God wants. Let 
That was quick. Sure. I need you to understand this because you've been raised in church thinking that God is going to give you a better life. What God has done, God has given you principles. If you decide to live by them, you will see the blessing of the Lord. God has laws that he has put in place. If you work the law, it works for you. If you work against the law, it works against you. So there are people who are now 80 years old already, but they have been saying, God's going to change my life. God's going to add money. God's going to give me this. He's still waiting. He's 80 years old. Some people say, if God wants me to have money, God is going to give me money. That same logic says if God wants me to smell nice, he will put perfume on for me. If God wants me to look cute, he will brush my hair for me. You decide. You decide. God's given you the ability to make decisions. Unless you understand that you make the decisions, you will keep blaming everybody else for where you are in life. Yes, but my... Father never left me in the world. He never gave me any money. There are people whose fathers left them a lot of money in the world and they are broke today. There are other people whose fathers left them nothing in the world and they are very wealthy today. Your decisions are deciding the quality of your life. The second philosophy is that people think that the devil decides what happens on the earth. When something goes wrong, you say the devil stole my money. The devil has attacked me again. You know that the devil can only be in one place at one time. What makes you so special in this whole world that he will come for you? Out of the 7 billion people on the planet, he came for you. We blame the devil for everything. Ten percent. Of your failures has to do with the attack of the devil. Ninety percent of your failures has got to do with the way you think. If you go into tomorrow with the same wisdom of today, you don't really have a tomorrow, you only have a longer today. Mm-hmm. 
we don't like to hear these messages. We just want to hear, I'm going to jump in church, I'm going to sing, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to be a millionaire. Some intercessors they came to me, they said, Pastor Clint, we're praying for your money. I said, please don't pray for my money. I've seen yours. Don't pray for mine, please. <laughs> Some of the most broke people on the earth are intercessors. I'm saying that to tell you this, that some of you have been praying for money. How many have been praying for money? Yeah, don't be ashamed you in the house of God. Don't lie now. No, 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 money, no, you? How many of you are millionaires now you prayed for money? Where are you? Where are you? There's a millionaire. Again, you've been praying at home and God has now made you a millionaire. Where are you? Have you worked it out already that prayer is not the seed for money? The seed for money. Does Donald Trump look like an intercessor to you? You think he's rich because he was praying all the time? I'm trying to help you think right. The third, now I'm not diminishing prayer. Prayer is extremely powerful. I am a man of prayer. But different seeds give you different harvests. The seed of prayer is not getting a harvest of money. That's why you're getting mad at God because you're asking God, but God is telling you already, He's given you principles how to make money. But you think that God must do something else. The third philosophy that's on the earth is that my decisions are deciding the quality of my life. One day I was selling off one of my companies. The man who was buying the factory from me, he told me he will put security uh, at the premises while I was gone. He will put a security, security guard at the premises. So I took away my security. When I came back a month later, there was no security. They had stolen everything out of the factory. It cost me thousands and thousands of dollars. I can say that that man he stole my money. No, but Clint was stupid to trust him when he was talking. My decisions have created my circumstances. I trusted the wrong man. The 
The day you say, my decisions have brought me here, that's the day God can help you. Because while you're blaming everybody else, you never repent for making wrong decisions. Your decisions are deciding everything. You can earn a salary. You can buy a car that's more than half of your salary. You want everyone at church to think you are prosperous. In the meantime, you're going broke trying to look prosperous. Now you're in stress because you don't have enough money for fuel. You don't have enough money for food. You can't do because you're paying this big car. Now every week we must pray for a miracle for you, for a miracle for you. Your decisions has created your stress. Not God. You created your own stress. And once you decided that, you will start changing your decision making. I wish I could tell you that hard work will make you wealthy. But some of the hardest working people are the poorest paid. Decisions decide wealth. You must pray prayers to God and say, Give me wealth whispers so I can hear what is wealth whispers that you are giving me. The prayer won't bring you money, but what he's telling you, he will tell you where it is. Jesus always knew where the money was. Jesus still knows where the money is. The problem with us is we don't want to go. We don't want to solve the problem. The seed for money is problem solving. The problem you solve will determine the amount of money you make. You can be a secretary in a small company. And they will pay you a certain amount of money. So you're solving a problem for that boss in that small company by being a secretary. You can also be a secretary in the head office of a big bank. And they will pay you much more money for doing the same job but for somebody else. Sometimes it's not only the problem you solve, it's who you're solving the problem for that determine how much money comes to you. Because 
afite menshi ashobora kugena aya guhemba bijyanye n'ubutunzi bwe is this helping you okay so I'm, i'm not so worried about them as long as it's helping you i'm happy niba bigufasha ndishimye You know, sometimes we think because we are in a good church. And we see what God's doing for others that we will also have a good quality life. But I saw that Ananias and Sapphira was also in a great church in the book of Acts. Ariko Ananias na Safira nao bari bari mwitorero ryiza mu gihe cyabo and the end was different than everybody else because of a decision they took Ariko uko barangije ubuzima bwabo byajyanye n'amahitamo bahisemo gufata nkabo bwabo Being in a good church where they teach you good things is a good decision Kwa mwitorero ryiza aho wigishwa ibintu byiza ni cyemezo cyiza But your decisions don't stop there you choose if you want to apply what they are teaching you Ariko umva ibyemezo ufata byo guhitamo gushyira mu bikorwa ibyo wigishije nibyo bizaje nubwiza bw'ukubuzima bwawe buzagenda Some of you are taught great things but you never apply it Bamwe muri mwebwe mwigishijwe ibintu bihambaye ariko mwanze kubishyira mu bikorwa Then there are others who get the same teaching but they apply it and they become blessed Noneho hari nabandi bumvise izo nyigisho zimwe nizo mwumvise ariko bakoze igitandukanye ko bahisemo kubishyira mu bikorwa hanyuma babona no musaru rutandukanye ubateye imbere Look at your neighbor Reba uwo mwicaranye Say neighbor Mubwire ngo my decisions Mubwire ngo ibyemezo byanje have brought me where I am today Nibyo byangeje jahanje nduru uyu munsi If I am not successful Niba na na narateye imbere it is my fault ni ikosa ryanje it is not god's fault ntabwo ari ikosa ry'imana and it is not the devil's fault ntabwo ari ikosa ry'umwanzi say it with your mouth bivuge nakanwa kawe say it bivuge yeah you must say i am the problem ugomba kwivuga ngo ninge kibazo making bad decisions ninge wafasha mahita mu mabi But anyone who has the ability to make a bad decision. Kandi buri wese muri twebwe afite ubushobozi bwo gufata ibyemezo bipfuye. He also has the ability to make a good one. Kandi uwo ngo ufite amahitamo yo gufata ibyemezo bipfuye afite n'amahitamo n'ubushobozi bwo gufata ibyemezo byiza. You don't need a lot of keys to open the bank's door. Ntabwo ukeneye imfungusho nyinshi kugira ngo ufungure banki. You need the right key to open the bank store. You don't need to make a lot of decisions to change your life. You need to make the right decision. Something you saying today can change the heart of God towards you. Ikintu uvuga uyu munsi gishobora guhindura uko Imana yakoranaga nawe. There's a thief hanging next to Jesus on the cross. He's condemned to an eternity that is lost forever. Hari umujura umwe wari warabambanywe na Yesu. Yari amaze gucirwa aho iteka ryiteka ryose aho kumusaraba. He makes one decision by saying remember me today when you come into your paradise ya fashe ikemezo gito cyane ariko cyahinduye ubuzima bwe burundu yavuze ngo unyiruke nugera mu bwami bwawe something he said cause god's heart to change his mind about his situation iyo jambo rimwe gusa yashoboye kuvuga abambanwe na Yesu ku musaraba cyahinduye ubuzima bwe ihindura no kwimana yamufataga jesus said today you'll be with me in paradise yesu ahita musubiza aravuga ngo akakanya King Hezekiah is laying on his deathbed in Isaiah chapter 38. Umwami Hezekiah muri Yesaya 38:8 yararyamye ku gitanda ke arwaye. The prophet Isaiah comes to him and says God says you're going to die set your house in order. 
hanyuma umu umu umuhanuzi Yesaya araza aramubwira ngo tegura ibyo rugo rwawe kuko ugiye gukurwa mu mubiri the Bible says he turned his face to the wall and said, Remember, O God, how I have walked before you in truth, and with a perfect heart I did things which was good in your sight. The Lord told Isaiah, Go back and tell him. I will add another 15 years to his life. Imana ihita imbwira umuhanuzi Yesaya iramubwira ngo subiye yo umubwire ngo nkongere indi myaka 15 yo kubaho. What happened? Ese byaba byaragenze bite? Something he said caused God to change his mind about his situation. Ijambo yavuze ryatumye Imana ihindura imitekerereze yayo ku buzima bwa Yesa. You could have been a bad decision maker and you can be in a bad place right now. But the words coming from your mouth towards God can change his heart about your situation. Stop rebuking devils. Stop blaming people. Say, God, my decisions have have impacted my life so much I'm in a bad place. Give me wisdom today no, no, that I can change my situation. God wants to hear you say it. It must come from your mouth and you must mean it. Imana irashaka kukumva uvuga ayo magambo kandi irashaka kuyavuga kubera ko yiteguye kukugirira neza From today you're going to stop blaming other people Kuva uyu munsi birakwiye ko uhagarika kuvuga ngo ni runaka wabikoze na runaka rekeraho kuvuga abandi My boss don't want to pay me more money Boss wanje uriya ni udashaka kunyishyura amafaranga menshi Why Kubera iki I always ask people why. Why don't your boss want to pay you more? My boss don't like me. Why? Why people always think there's something wrong with their boss. You must look at yourself. Why don't like you? Iyo uvuga ngo umukoresha wafite ikibazo wakagombye nawe kwirebamo. Ese no kubera iki atagukunda? Not everybody likes me. Ntabwo ari buri muntu wese unkunda, but I always make sure my authority likes me. Ariko muri byo nshoboye byose kugira ngo umuntu uri ku rwego rwo hejuru hejuru yanje ankunde Some of you must go to your boss and say what is it about me that irritates you Bamwe muri twebwe dukwiye kujya kuba dukoresha tukabaza ngo ariko niki fite ku buzima bwanje mukoresha wanje kigutesha umutwe What should I do differently that makes you happy What am I doing wrong Niki nakora Hajikuwa mburujo utandukanyi kujira mbo uishime. Uyumusi na ayahe makosa di mugukura. Ibyo ni wazo dukuye kuwaza abakore shabachu. Chambu munu imu kurguwe kurguwe hejuru mbuzi mabgachu. You always think the problem's with your boss. You must look in the mirror and see where the problem is. Ura iteka ufuga mbichi wazo jifutu mkore shawawe. Aiko nda kusawa uyumusi. Wile mundole rwama ufuge mwari kukuri njewe chivazo chabachiri hehe. Can I tell you one of the greatest secrets of your life you have to learn? Wherever you show honor, you will receive favor. Wherever you receive favor, there's blessing and money for you. I'm going to close with this and then we're going to go to questions. The day I discovered that God loves everybody, I realized what makes me special. He loves the guy who killed his family last night that's in jail. He loves him. What makes me so special? God, God loved Adolf Hitler who killed so many Jews. 
na Adolf Hitler wisha abantu abayahudi benshi Imana yaramukundaga Don't think because God loves you he will bless you Ntutekereze ko kuba Imana igukunda bizatuma guha umugisha Don't confuse the two Ntubivange All of you God loves you but you're still in a mess Mwese twese Imana iradukunda ariko bamwe muri twebwe bari mu kaga uzima bwabo numwanda niba nakoresha uryo jambo and I realize I don't just want God to love me, I want him to like me. When God starts to like you, he shows you favor. God loves everyone, he don't like everybody. God told us to love everybody. He didn't say we must like everybody. Yes. It's the people I like that I bless. Not necessarily the people I love. I have family members I love. I never bless them because I don't like them. Let me put it to you this way. When you, when, whoever you show honor to will like you. When they like you, they want to help you. If authority don't like you, you must check your honor levels. Well, I just honor Jesus. I just honor Jesus. That's why you're still broke. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus said, how can you love the father who you don't see, but your own brother that's here, you don't love him? How can you honor Jesus that's not here, but the man that is put over you as an authority, you don't honor him? Your pride has cost you dearly. Look, I wouldn't call you stupid, but somebody else might. We've not been good decision makers. And we want to blame everybody else. When you should look in the mirror at the one that's creating his own problems. I've just given you great secrets for wealth creation. But Pastor D, the people in the church don't want to learn that. They listen to you as a wealthy man. They think, I wonder if he will borrow me some money. <laughs> if ever you meet a wealthy man, don't, don't ask him for his money. Ask him for his wisdom. Because what created his money is the way he thinks. He can give you money, but the way you think will make you lose it again. But if you think the way he thinks, you'll make what you have and you'll also be able to keep what is given you. No ora no muntu tuze byinshi ufite amafaranga menshi ntuzamusabe kuguha amafaranga uzamubaze ubwenge no umenya afite hanyuma ukigiyeho no naguheza amafaranga ubupfapfa buri mu mitekerereze yawe uzatuma ukoresha nabi ya amafaranga uyatakaze ariko no umenya icyazi uzashobora gukorera nkaya afite ndetse uyarenzeho 
Africa must stop standing like this. The best thing you can do for the poor is not to be one of them.